Hello, I'm Mike from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll show you how to create a mix minus so you can listen to and record your podcast guest, but they can't hear themselves. Yes, it's called a mix minus or a clean feed in the industry. Why? Because you're giving the mix of everything from your mixing console minus the input you want to take away. That would be your podcast guest. Why would you want to do that? Well, if you feed your guest back to them, you're either going to get echo, echo feedback, feedback, or potentially you're going to send a del delayed, delayed feed, feed of their audio, their audio back, audio to, back, them, back to them into their headphones. Their headphones. That's going to confuse them while they're trying to talk to you. So let's clear this up with just a few cables. <laughs> I don't want to overwhelm you with cables and aux sends. Literally just a USB cable and an XLR cable, and that's for your microphone. Let's figure out how this all works. Other things you'll need, of course, if you're podcasting, a microphone like this one, the AKG C414. It's a rather good mic. Uh, it's no secret I'm a fan of Soundcraft mixing consoles. I have the Signature 12 MTK myself, although for beginner podcasting and intermediate, it's probably overkill. That's why I'm delighted that Soundcraft sent me out the Signature 10 to try out, and this is my top recommendation for podcasting now. Absolutely brilliant. And it's easy to do a mix minus without getting yourself lost in cables. So let's get stuck in. Uh, first and foremost, when you've got the, uh, the desk powered up, you're going to want to connect the type B end of the USB cable into your board. And then you're going to want to plug the uh, other end into obviously your computer. That could be in my case, it's a Mac, uh, it could be a PC, whatever. Once you've done that, Adobe Audition will recognize uh, the audio. Here we go. Your audio devices have changed and you select the Soundcraft two channel audio driver. Uh, and then audio channel mapping, you should have one and two on the lovely input and one and two on the output. Fantastic. Fantastic. That's what we want. So that's all set up now as far as recording into our door. That could be uh, the same on Audacity, by the way, or whatever you're using. You just select the Soundcraft uh, mixing board on your door. Simple as that. Uh, now we'll plug in the mic. Uh, so let's do this. Uh, let's get this into uh, the input number one over here. So pop that in, connect. And then we'll take the other end and plug it in to this end of our microphone so that now we have a connected mic. And when I turn up the uh, volume there, you should be able to see with the master, yeah, that right uh, signal is coming through. That's what we want. Okay, so that's how we get our podcast audio out as the host. Now we want to get our guest. Well, once you've connected via USB, they will come in on this channel over here and the good news about this is it's automatically mix minus, which means uh, it's done inside the board without the use of any aux sends that you sometimes see uh, in other explanations of how to do a mix minus. This is all done inside the board. Everything goes back to uh, whoever is listening on the other end, i.e. your guest, uh, but not their own feed. So no need for any messy aux sends. It's done. It's ready. Uh, and I can show you how it works. If I hit record now on Adobe Audition, and you'll see there I am speaking into my microphone. It's coming out nice and clear. And then if I go over to Skype uh, and make a call to the test calling service, you should see. Hello. Welcome to Skype call testing service. After the beep, please record a message. Afterwards, your message will be played back to you. Excellent. So you can see it works and uh, it's fantastic. I can record both myself and my guest easily with just a couple of cables. And those cables aren't even for the mix minus. They're to connect the board and the microphone. Really, really good stuff. But there's something you're really going to like to take it even further with the Soundcraft Signature 10 in particular that I love. And that is splitting out your audio, your host audio and your guest audio onto separate tracks so that your podcast editor or yourself, if you're doing your editing, can do all that mixing and fade out the guest if they do a cough while you're speaking, all that kind of cool stuff. And that is by using the aux sends here. So you want to send your microphone out to aux send one by turning this knob up and you want to send your guest, which is the computer audio, out on the aux send number two. You then want to make sure AUX1 and AUX2 master are all the way up to zero. And you'll also want to make sure pre and post is selected 
post like that, post fader. And the reason you want it post fader is because then the aux sense will relate to what you do with the fader, whether it's open or closed, whether the audio is coming in or out, as opposed to these green dials. Super handy. Now, the final thing you'll do is hit USB send there. It'll change from master left and right to aux one and two. So aux one is on the left, aux two is on the right. If I start recording now into a separate Adobe Audition file, do so, you will see I am coming out of the left channel. And if I go back to Skype, make a test call, you will see that the test call will come out of, yes, that's right, <laughs> the right channel, which is really good. And if you're doing multi-track editing, it's even better. Start a multi-track, brand new multi-track session here. And we'll say as my input, I want the mono of one on track one, and I'd like the mono of two on track two. Arm them to record, there I am on number one. Both tracks are armed to record, hit record, there I am. You can see I'm recording into track one of multi-track, call Skype test call, and you will see that, yeah, Skype test is coming through on track two. Hang up on Skype test, stop recording, there we go, and it is done. It is done, fantastic, I love it so much. So you can separate everything out, no crazy wires. Oh, one final thing, if you did want to digitally record your podcast output, for instance, onto a Zoom H4n, you've got two inputs there, you could easily use AUX1 and AUX2 outputs, these two outputs, and plug them into your Zoom recorder to get a clean feed, uh, channel one, channel two of your host, that's you, and your guest recorded onto a backup uh, recorder that is not your computer in case your computer crashes or something. So I hope this has really helped you and I hope it's enlightened a little bit as to how easy it is to do a mix minus as it's called or clean feed using the Soundcraft Signature 10. You don't have to even use the Signature 10 and maybe in a future video I'll show you how to do it with uh, an even smaller Soundcraft desk like for instance the, uh, the Notepad series are uh, really good, much simpler but again Every Soundcraft uh, mixing board that I've seen enables you to do a mix minus really easily. That's why I'm highly recommending Soundcraft for podcasting, particularly when you're recording guests on your computer.